What's going on, guys? Sinjin Hapdunk here with Hapdunk YJ. I'm here with Patrick Hoban, who just got top 16 with, with Super Heavy Samurai. And we're over here right now in Philadelphia. And before we jump right into it, I just want to give a huge shout out to Dank Rituals, who just released their brand new Dank Ritual AI Playmat Limited Edition. You can get this super sick bad boy over at dankritual.com right now. They are a limited run, so make sure you grab yours before they're sold out today. We're going to jump straight on into your deck profile. Cool. Let's do it. Not take too much of your time. Um, yeah, cool. So I played uh, Samurai and with Gimmick Puppet. I basically pre played Branded, um, <laughs> but I liked it. It, it. it was really solid. Um, the Gimmick Puppet is absurd, and we found out during the YCS this is the last weekend we could have done this. Right. So, Round um, three. I, uh, yeah, so, so for the Samurai cards, I got three Piercers, um, three Wagons, Three bike um, and three of the thing. Um, I don't like this one very much, but the math isn't high enough on having a good hand. Like if you max on them, it's like 85% or something, um, which is already like, it's solid, but I think that it's already like a little bit low. So I, that was the reason I ended up playing the third, but I really want to play a few of this one. Right. Um, then I played one Ben Key. Um, so I know most people are playing two. I, I, I don't know. I don't think that's very good to be honest because the way I see it is, it's kind of like Resolve Math. Like I think that, you know, Brilliant Fusion Garnet, like it's a three to one, it's not a three to two ratio. Um, and when you draw it, it's actually like, you know, it, basically the main thing it takes away is being able to special Wakashi. Like if you still have Wakashi, you can still like, you just have one fewer push, essentially. So it's not like the absolute worst to draw. Um, obviously you don't want to, but uh, I definitely did not want to play two because it's essentially like drawing boot sector in the dragon deck every time you every time you do draw every time you do draw it because um, you're essentially going to search it. So if it were any other card instead, it would have been better. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to play it, and I was trying to FTK people, so I didn't really care about follow up. <laughs> Um, then I played three Peacemaker. Um, this card's really good. I played three because it is one of two ways to play around Droll in this deck. Um, on the, I guess on that same note, I also played three Regulus for the same reason. Um, the, but, so with this, like, you know, Peacemaker, or, uh, Piercer and Peacemaker are, like, full combo through Droll anyway. Um, so you, you basically put up Savage. Uh, and then you have a negate on the board the first time you search and you just like skip your search. You could do something similar with Wakashi and both of them end up being full combo anyway. Um, so I, I, I went to max on, on that one. And I played one Stealthy, or just, yeah, Scales, and one Booster. That was all the Samurai cards I played. I didn't play the box or anything. Um, too many bricks. Then I played three Fenrir. Um, this card <laughs> was funny. Um, twice in the last two weeks I've played where I only showed them a Fenrir and I was playing against Cash and then they let me go first. Uh, game two. <laughs> last week I full comboed him with Samurai, this time I bricks uh, against Justin. <laughs> um, then I played one Kaiju. Um, I don't really buy the searchability argument because it, it, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm not really able to be search this card for something that I would want to kaiju you away. Um, but I guess if I was going to play one, it might as well be it. Uh, then I played Cyberstein and Gimmick Puppet. Um, essentially you would go Gear Gigant into, uh, Cyberstein. And then with the Cyberstein, you would summon the Branded Fusion. And then, um, the Gear Gigant and Cyberstein can make the Gimmick Puppet link that publishes this card. And then you can do this before they play a card. Um, the one card combo also has like two Omni Negates when you do it too. So um, really the only out is Droplets, which no one's playing because Rise Heart's, you know, the best card in the game. Um, with the, <laughs> so the gimmick puppet, last week when we were in Chile, uh, Hani told me about this. He was like, I was playing this guy on, on Dueling Book uh, and I had Dark Ruler in my hand. I knew I was about to win. Um, and then he did this to me, and, I, and he just decided that he'd rather win that DB rated game than the YCS. <laughs> so, and I was like, yeah, I want to play that. that. That sounds really good. Um, 
and yeah, it was insane. I, I, I did it probably 15 or so times throughout the <laughs> tournament. <laughs> um, then I played, you know, hand traps, three ash, three droll, um, three mourner. And I know I asked earlier, uh, how did you enjoy mourner this weekend? Uh, mourner was cool. Uh, I bricked a couple cash games uh, with, the, like, you know, just hitting unicorn and them having to pass. Uh, and like cash isn't <laughs> that much above 85 either in terms of it so you know if you hit one it, they don't always have the assist right um and yeah like i played a bunch of cash too i think i played nine this weekend oh, which geez. is crazy because this is not a one deck format <laughs> yeah definitely not um but yeah i played infinite cash and then i played uh three ogre too okay. ogre is probably the worst hand trap of the of the lot i played like i think three samurai decks too Then for the extra deck, we have the Branded Fusion. So we're playing Branded. Um, these two, Savage. So Savage, I think, is correct to play, um, but only because you're playing three Peacemaker. If you weren't playing three Peacemaker, there's no need for Savage. But Savage is like how you play around Droll with Peacemaker. So yeah, I, I played three Peacemaker, so I played it. Um, Omega is <laughs> uh, really, interesting because you can actually gimmick puppet lock under shifter with omega um and you there's like a handful of three card combos that do it but there's also one two card combo um which is just by kokashi if you have by kokashi you can do the gimmick puppet lock under shifter um and by returning it to grave and since return is different than send you can it just goes back to grave even under shifter and then you can do the Albion effect to summon back the shifter and the gimmick puppet and just do it under shifter as like a two part combo. That's crazy. Um, then played two of the uh, newly banned card. <laughs> the newly banned card. Uh, the gimmick puppet link. Uh, this card is ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's absolutely crazy. Platinum Gadget. So Platinum Gadget is not inherently part of the combo, but it's really useful if like you get interrupted and you still need a way. Like if you have to like pendulum summon to like get to the gear again, um, and presumably you've already normal summoned at that point, then Platinum Gadget is kind of important for being able to special the stein from your hand at, at the end. Um, but yeah, I, I like Platinum Gadget. And then I played a Cliff War Genius. Uh, this card's good. It was probably among the less used cards in my extra deck, just because like my combo is like very defined and it, it didn't matter to get to this. But sometimes you would just like get free searches and um, yeah, it was something. I played again. Uh, then these cards. Um, one interesting thing about this card is that uh, on the Yu-Gi-Oh scope site that like uh, watches all the dueling book games and then aggregates like win loss percentages. Uh, somebody in this card had the highest win percentage of any card in the Samurai deck. I think it was like 66, and um, Droll and Ash are like around 50 to give you know, like an idea of how like good 66 is. Um, then I played Babuska, Tiergigant for the FTK. This card is actually an FTK by itself because the combo is just Stein plus a uh, machine. And so since the machine searches Stein, you just always have the gimmick pump link <laughs> with it. Um, and then I played one Zeus. Um, I would have liked to play two Zeus, but I don't know. <laughs> no. Then for the side deck, played three Karkura. Um, as I was just telling you, I think that uh, typically Kaijus are probably a little bit better in this deck. Yeah, definitely. Uh, because this deck really only has like two pushes in a turn. It's got like Wakashi and uh, a normal summon. You go second, bike's a push because you can bike into scales and special it and still have the Wakashi and a normal summon. But you don't have as many pushes as even like Castiera, which has like worth as two different pushes. Um, and so I think a deck like Castiera could probably play this card a little bit better than a deck like Samurai can, because right. you just can't really throw cards into a board as much. <laughs> um, but it's still solid. And then I played three Gamma and a Driver. I do not like this card, but I want to decide it specifically versus Cash going second, um, just because you know you can hit a Rise Heart really easily with it. But uh, I was pretty stuck on not playing more than just, you know, getting a puppet as mm -hmm. like a, a brick. And I, I didn't want to play box, I didn't want to play driver, I didn't want to play any of those. Plus like Gamma is like really easy to play around. You know, you can just wait uh, until they put a monster on the board for anything and then Gamma's just like dead in your hand. So it's really only good going second. Um, and I was going to side out the Gamma puppet stuff anyway, so I'll just, you know, swap a brick for a brick. I'm fine with playing one brick in any deck. All right. <laughs> Uh, three nibs. I don't like this card 
Um, but I mean, I, I caught a couple of people with it, and I'm sure it probably won a, a couple games throughout the tournament. But overall, I don't like this. Last week in Chile, I got knocked out um, by, you know, he could have really easily played in the nib. He was playing Castilla, and he, like, cracked my board and still just made a rise hard pass and, like, added birth to his hand for follow-up instead of, like, trying to push through my board. And it just, like, made my nib dead, and, like, I just lost right. uh, because of it. And I think that's, like, kind of common. Um, like, I don't think this card's, like, it's like a coin flip if it's good against Castilla, and it's not your choice, it's their choice if it's good. Um, and then it doesn't really do anything at all to Samurai, like even without playing Stardust, like you just get nibbed and it doesn't matter because they have to do it. Um, and then you haven't really committed to like a Pendulum Summon or anything yet. So right. I don't really like nib, but uh, sometimes you catch people. <laughs> um, three, uh, Sage to Floyd, this card was cool. Um, you need some kind of removal in this deck. and. I like special summon cards, so special summon cards and removal is a good combination. I like it more than eccentric for that reason too. Uh, you know, eccentric is not a special summon card. And I didn't play the, the level one for, target for it, but maybe I should have. I got knocked out by Labyrinth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I played a Cowboy, and this thing, um, you know, Cowboy, all the gotta play it. Yep. <laughs> Uh, but this, it was mostly because I would side out uh, the... I, I, I wanted to main deck it, but again, there was just like no room for this in the second two. So those would probably be like the top two cards I would want to add to the extra deck. Right. Um, but in this case, I was siding out Gimmick Puppet when I went second. So I was like, well, I'm making the fusion, you know, I'm, if I'm siding out Stein and Gimmick Puppet, I'm not making the fusion. Um, and the gimmick puppet link doesn't do anything, so if I sign in an extra card, I can like get more utility out of that. Um, I didn't really use it very much though, <laughs> but it was good. Um, and yeah, that's the deck. Well, congratulations! That's pretty awesome. It's really great to see you uh, destroying events. That was I watched a lot of your games. It was really awesome to get you to see you play. Thank you. I appreciate um, it. Looking forward to seeing you back at uh, Nats, which I know you said you were uh, going to get to attend. So that's going to be awesome. Yep. All right. Thanks again for the time. And uh, again, everyone, check out Dank Ritual. Uh, appreciate you. Love your face. Mm -hmm.